Now, before we get started, I just want to say marriage counseling can seem a little bit intimidating, but you are in a judgment-free zone and a safe space. Cool. Okay? Cool. Okay. Great. So, Jerry, let's begin with you. Can you please explain what kind of problems you're having in your marriage? Yeah. Okay. Um, the main thing that brought us in was some intimacy issues uh, we've been experiencing when we go to <laughs> make love. Again, a very common issue. Let's dive into that a little bit more. I guess uh, the old floppy hog has been having trouble getting a stiffy. I'm sorry, what? Floppy hog. The, 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 the slobby knob goblin. It's like half a tilapia. All right. Um, thank you for sharing, Jerry. Thank you. Diane, let's, uh, let's focus on you now. Can you please explain how you feel when these issues arise? Yeah, well, I feel, I feel dry. Mm -hmm. I feel yeah. dry. Yeah. There's no moisture. It's no longer moist. Mm -hmm. It's so, sort of like a yeah. paste. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's uh, tacky. Yeah. Tacky. Have you ever been to a Cineplex? Yeah. Yeah. Great. Um, let's uh, just shelve that for a moment and try something else, okay? Um, fill in the blanks to the following question. I feel this when this happens, okay? Okay, yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, uh, uh, Diane, I feel inadequate when your vaginal secretions resemble the carpeting uh, around my aunt's bathtub. Mm -hmm. It's not, not quite moist, but damp. More fungal content, yeah. Yeasty. Yeasty yes. is how I would say it, yeasty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad you hear that. I am so sorry. But I have to say this too, it's, you know, what I feel is that when you try to arouse the clitoris, it's pulling back. It's like a little peekaboo. Yes, like a bit of a protective sheath. Like a whack-a-mole. Yes, like a whack-a-mole. It's like a whack-a-mole. Mm -hmm. yeah. And it's, he's just playing whack-a-mole with oh, my clitoris. And I am like yeah. I'm I'm in there railing on that thing as hard as I can. Oh, and he is, and he he's mm -hmm. been working his Peter Pointer so hard, it's like a nubbin now. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. there is yeah. friction and rashes happening, yeah. wow. let me tell you. It's very dry. Very dry. Yes. Like a hot dog on an angle grinder, mm -hmm. it is rubbing. Little skin flakes keep coming off yep. too. And yep. like, so when we get out of bed, mm -hmm. you know, after we're all done, we're like, wow, this isn't working. It's just like little, tiny, little bits of skin mm -hmm. that have just flaked into the bed. And then if I do a little shake, it's just all over the floor. We call it our sleepy time Parmesan. Mm -hmm. It's like wow. we're the pasta and little Sandman comes and delivers his flakes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Good job, honey. Thanks. Good job. Feels good. Okay, great, great. Thank you. Thank you to both. That's, this is great. Wonderful. Um, cool. Let's, uh, let's try something entirely new now, okay? Uh, look at each other. Don't look at me ever again. Look at each other. Look at each other, okay? And just kind of um, <clears throat> spitball how these problems are uh, making you feel, okay? Emphasis on the feel, not the physicality, but the, the emotions. Of course. Okay. Okay, well, I feel that my cervical mucus no longer resembles the glorious cottage cheese flowing consistency that it once did. Honestly, you should have seen it. When we first got married, oh, it was gushing. It was like yes. nature's gushers. Mm -hmm. It was a geyser. It was yep. the little lumps along with that sort of milky kind of uh, the bubbling. The texture, yeah. We, yeah. we put it in jars, put yeah. a little ribbon on it, put a little sticker a label, Diane's, Diane's Bounty. Bounty. And yeah. then we would sell that thing at the farmer's market. Oh, and people would eat it up. Mm -hmm. A little crust on their mouths. And we're like, oh, that was Diane's that was Bounty. Diane. Mm -hmm. But now, see, here's the thing. Diane's Bounty is all dried up and it's like these hard chunks. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's like feta cheese. Feta cheese. 
Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, you know, I mean, Jerry, he buys it now at Costco all the time. I just can't produce enough of it. Yeah. The, the quality is there, but it's just the volume isn't enough. Can't beat wholesale. Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, let's just take a break while we throw out the Greek salad that I brought for lunch. She's not hungry. I'm not hungry. Okay, I can see by the looks on your faces that you think this is going well, but I'm here to tell you that it is not, okay? It is not going well. I am here to help you, and I've asked you to talk about your feelings and your emotions, and all you can talk about are your disgusting, icky, vile bodies. I thought this was a safe space. For who, Jerry? For who? Tell me, okay? There are just some things you don't tell your therapist, all right? I've had to hear about your floppy hog and your feta cheese infection and, and Cineplex. I, I can never go to the movies again. Oh my God. I'm not gonna be able to watch Avatar 2. What the fuck am I supposed to do at 30,000 scene books, Jerry? Uh, don't yell at me. I, 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 these are our bodies. I'm just being honest. <laughs> don't, please don't cry, okay? Please, stop. We're never going to get better. <laughs> We're so broken. <laughs> I'm sorry, okay? I, I'm, I'm sorry. I just had a little bit of an outburst because I was uncomfortable, okay? But... I do really want to help you both, so let's just take a deep breath and start all over, okay? So, Jerry, can you please explain how these problems are making you feel? Making you feel. Feel. Okay? Okay, I guess. I feel sad Good. when my floppy hog resembles half a tilapia. Jesus Christ. 